Hi folks, Dave here, AF5DN. Today I'm going to show you how I made this little 20 meter dipole antenna. All of the parts came from Lowe's or Home Depot uh, with the exception of the PL239 uh, PL uh, which I picked up at Fry's and I've had these for a while. Everything else today I, I bought today had to make some modifications <laughs> that's actually a piece of plumbing um, to get it to work right this is going to be a very low power inexpensive easy to make antenna uh, that I'm going to be using on my QRP 20 meter QRP rig now I want to tell you why I built this I've been building my QRP rig with all MFJ products up to this point. I've actually had a 20 meter dipole antenna on order from MFJ for four weeks. Four weeks. Now this didn't, this is not probably the quality that, that MFJ will produce, but this took me an hour to make. One hour, and I've had the MFJ on order for four weeks. Okay, so this is temporary. I didn't cancel the order. This is temporary. We're going to hook it up and try to get a signal. And uh, I'll show you the, the, inst the build right now. Okay, folks. Um, what I want to be showing you today is the buildup of this 20 meter antenna uh, dipole for this QRP radio. Now, keep in mind, this radio is only going to put out 7 to maybe 10 watts of power. It's very low power. So the wire that we can use doesn't need to handle a whole lot of power. The connectors that we use don't need to handle a whole lot of power. Okay, The ground wire doesn't need to handle a whole lot of power. So everything here um, I picked up at Home Depot, excuse me, Lowe's, and um, they're all the least expensive items that you could use for this project. I'm going to set this out of the way here. Let me go through this real quick. These are the tools that we're going to be using. It's the flat bladed screwdriver. For what I'm going to use this for, a Phillips would work. A socket. These will... Um, let me talk about those in a minute. I've got two PVC end caps. Now, I just I didn't put these in a vise or anything because this is mine. I'm not selling it, not giving it away, not making it for a friend. It's it's kind of a test. So I just eyeballed, drill walked a little, no big deal. That's for the PL259 to, to set in. Okay. That hole is for the wire to come out. Okay. This hole, these holes are for these uh the little uh, eye bolts, okay. And then I got a little piece of PVC to go in between. No big deal. That's all pretty standard. The screws, these are just sheet metal screws. That's what I'm going to use to hold these on. I'm not going to drill and put nuts and bolts on it. When I'm done, the way I hang this, there should be no strain on this connector, so that won't be necessary. Now, I need about 17 feet of wire on each side of my dipole. The least expensive way I could get a 14 gauge wire was to buy two 20 foot packs. So I'll cut about 17 feet off of each one of these. Okay, PVC glue to glue all that junk together. Here's a little ground wire. Again, that will go to this, which is on a uh, piece of rebar pounded into the ground. That's just for safety. Now these guys here, let me see if I can explain what they're for. You will see them, the <laughs> finished, but uh, just so you can get an idea, um, those are going to be my insulators. Now, Home Depot uh, and Lowe's, neither one, had regular wire insulators. So the end of my dipole, this would be, this to simulate, the, I'm going to be using that wire, but to simulate the end of my dipole, I will be wrapping the wire around something similar to this. Okay, you get the idea. 
this is the end of the antenna. Now, what I'll do, I'm trying to get the end of, end of this little cheesy wire here, is I'll take a piece of uh, probably paracord or something like that. You have to imagine this being paracord. And run that in there like this. Tie it off. Okay, this will be paracord. Here's my antenna right here. And then you can see I've made an insulator where I can tie this paracord up that I'll be using as an insulator. Very inexpensive. This was like 50 cents. I would have used a regular wire insulator, but they didn't have it. Okay? No big deal. Alright, so I'm gonna get the uh I'm going to move the camera around just a little bit and we'll set up and start building this thing. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to cut my left and right or ground and feed or whatever you want to call it, my wires. And <clears throat> this little radio here, you can see on the dial here, the center of the dial in the single sideband mode is 14,250. Now, I'm not going to be operating this antenna in uh, CW mode. I don't have the CW module in there yet, and uh, I'm hoping the other antenna that I have ordered will cover that. This is just a quick thing to throw up real quick. So we take our formula. I'm shooting for 14.250 megahertz. My, your formula is going to be the total length will be 468 divided by the frequency, or each leg length will be... 234 divided by the frequency. So by doing that, I come up with 16.42105263, blah, blah, blah. It goes on forever. I didn't have enough paper. So basically, we converted that to 16 foot 5 and 1 16th of an inch for each leg. Now, um, I'm going to go precautionary and add 1 inch on each side that the total length then will be two inches too long but that's okay I can adjust that if I need to keep in mind I'm going to be folding the ends in also so what we need to start out with is cutting the wire now unfortunately my goofy little tape measure here only goes to it's a five meter tape <laughs> that would be too easy wouldn't it uh, 16 foot, 3 quarters of an inch. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do the, the little, you know, pull it out so far and, and move the tape. But that's okay. We can do that. All right. So, let me wait that. All right. So, basically, let me just get rid of this. I'll fix that in a minute. All right. Sorry about that. Looks like when I tilted that down I must have dislodged the battery okay this is not a TV production this is you're seeing it live well maybe not it's recorded but you get the idea we're just we're, we're doing it Okay, so right there is my 16 foot mark. So then I go another, instead of five and a 16th, I'm going to go six and a 16th. And we'll cut this bad boy right there. And I got a little bitty, like I say, this was 25 foot, a little bitty chunk left over here. I'll just discard that. Now that, right, we'll take this next one. Not pretty good, I've hit that trash can twice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to detangle this just a little bit before I get the length on it. Okay, so I don't particularly care to measure it, 
So I've already measured one. I'm just going to line them up and get the same length. Uh, diagonal cutters usually work better, but ele electrician snips do okay. And again, we got some extra wire here. And uh, notice this is less wire than that other piece. That's typically why I don't measure. If it says 25 feet, I don't believe them, and I don't measure from, you know, try to remove some from one end. I'll actually start and measure the whole thing. All right, we're coming up pretty good there. So now we got our two pieces of our dipole. Now, let's see what's next. All right, next is this bad boy right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to mark a couple of holes here. Probably a sharpie would be better for this, but Alright, I got two there. And again, all of these holes, I've just been hand hand drilling them, okay? If you want to put a device, you want to measure, uh, I say go for it. If I were making these professionally, I would be using uh, templates. And then it would be build the template one time, and then every product from then on would be exactly the same. Sometimes with these, uh... now they do make these little end caps that are flat and they don't have all this raised lettering on it. If you could find those, uh, that would be better. But in lieu of that, you know, just do what you got to do to make it work. All right, so we're done with the drill. Now, the way I'm going to be working mine, I'm going to come up here to the top piece now and assemble that. That'll go right in there. A challenge for guys with fat fingers, okay? Hey, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Can I get that one started? And again, these are just these are just strain reliefs. I'm not gonna have an electrical connection on here, and you'll see that in a minute. guys up as far as I can. And you know, like I say, this is a this is a temporary thing. Uh, I'm trying to get it out as cheap as possible because I have a another antenna on order. Okay, there we go. That's that piece done. Alright, 
So, let's do this little guy right here.